In the last 50 years, there have been thousands of reported sightings of unidentified aerial phenomena in the United States. Some believe that these sightings are evidence of extraterrestrial life forms visiting our planet, while others believe it is simply a combination of mass hysteria and hoaxes. Regardless, we know one thing for sure, UAPs definitely are real. This video will explore some of the most interesting cases from recent history and explain why so many people continue to report strange occurrences in our skies. Before we get into UAPs, let's make sure we're clear about what a UFO is. A UFO is an unidentified flying object which is a subset of the broader category of UAPs. A basic definition of a UFO is something that flies in the air, but doesn't have any conventional means of propulsion and isn't man-made. The UAP acronym originally stood for Unidentified Aerial Phenomena. This was modified to Unmanned Aerial Vehicle, or UAV, because people assumed they had to be flown by pilots. Now it stands for Unidentified Aerial Phenomenon, which is even more general than its previous incarnation. UAPs are things encountered in the atmosphere which are not officially known or recognized by scientists today which may include lights in the sky, weird sounds heard on radar screens, or things of that nature. The term covers everything from natural phenomena like ball lightning to artificial objects such as satellites orbiting Earth, or space debris falling back down after burning up in the atmosphere during re-entry. Anything that happens high above us in space can be considered a UAP event if no one knows what caused it yet. The U.S. Air Force knows a lot about UAPs, but for the most part it is classified information. In fact, the U.S. Department of Defense has been researching and tracking UAPs since at least 1948. In December of that year, the Air Technical Intelligence Center collected information on UFOs from pilots and radar operators across the country. This was then handed over to Project Grudge in February 1949, where it became one of three projects that reported directly to General Nathan Twining, who was also known as the father of modern guided missiles. The other two projects were Project Stork and Signet, Blue Book which focused on collecting data on flying saucers through interviews with UFO witnesses or their families. There are a lot of conspiracy theories as to what UAPs actually are and some of them are as follows. It may be spacecraft belonging to aliens. Aliens are real and have been visiting Earth for centuries, if not longer. It is possible that it is a government cover-up. The government may be hiding proof that aliens exist from the public in order to maintain order. These events could be false flag operations staged by government agencies in order to scare people into believing something false or cause a war with another country. Or it could be military testing of weapons or vehicles such as drones or missiles. Finally, these unexplained events could be secret government projects. A secret project like the Manhattan Project that created the first atomic bomb during World War II or Project Stargate could be behind UAP sightings. UAPs are a reality of our modern day world. They are not a figment of the imagination, nor are they a hoax or conspiracy theory. The UAP phenomenon has been covered in hundreds of peer-reviewed scientific journals and media worldwide since it was first reported by pilot Kenneth Arnold in 1947. There is no evidence that this is a government conspiracy, although many governments have tried to cover up their own involvement with otherworldly beings on Earth. Many people have experienced firsthand some sort of unexplained phenomena that cannot be explained by conventional science. These individuals can feel alone at times because others will often dismiss their experiences as delusional or irrational, but there is much more proof that these things happen than you may realize. So what are UAPs? The best way to answer that question is by looking at the evidence and facts surrounding them. We know they exist, but we don't know what they are or where they come from. For now, all we can do is continue collecting data on these unexplained phenomena so that someday soon, someone will be able to make sense of it all. Do you believe that we are being visited by alien spacecraft? Have you or someone you have known had an experience with the paranormal? Let us know all about it in the comments below. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more on the paranormal.